Hello, welcome to my YSEC demo. My name is Alexander Heinrich and I'm a security researcher at the Technical University of Darmstadt. I work in the secure mobile networking lab. Today, I will present you Betamap, the end map for Bluetooth Low Energy. Betamap is a UI-based application that visualizes BTLE environments and helps researchers to quickly analyze devices. Betamap has a range of features that can be used to analyze BTLE environments. It can detect trackable identifiers. It can range devices in real time. It can identify devices nearby and it can export BTLE advertisements to PCAP files for further analysis. Now I will quickly demonstrate some of the features. This is the main view. It is, a lift, it is a list of devices in range. Devices are highlighted when they're ascending. On the top, we have several filter options that are synchronized between all views. So we can enter in this hex field, for example, any manufacturer data that is sent in BTLE advertisements and filter for that. In this example, we filter for a special uh, advertisement type of Apple devices. Betamap automatically connects to devices to identify them. When we click on a device, we see general information like the name and the model and all supported services and all, adver all advertisements that have been received from this device. Advertisements contain primary services like the Corona tracing service, for example, or service data like the Corona tracing identifier. But it can also contain manufacturer data, which is any arbitrary broadcasted data from those devices. Our dissection engine identifies a large set of private advertisements. Here we have two examples. The nearby advertisements are used to inform Apple devices about their proximity to other devices. They are sent out by a range of Apple devices. Airports are also sending a, a custom type of advertisements. Those are the proximity pairing advertisements, which contain detailed information about the airport model, the battery state, and the charging information. We also have a proximity view in our application. This view gives a good overview of all the e devices in range. The devices change their positions in real time and they are positioned according to the RSSI values that have been received. Angles are random because no Bluetooth chip implements and exposes an API for angle of arrival. As an example, we filter for airports messages and we see two airports here. One, the airport actually moves away when we move with the airport and we can see that it comes back when we get closer again. As airports are continuously advertising while a user wears them, they can be tracked quite easily. Our application also runs on iOS. Even though they have limited access to the BTLE data, the proximity view can still deliver useful information here. To deliver a better user experience, we added the ability to zoom in and to drag around the screen to make it easy to identify devices that are around. We also offer the same filter options on the bottom. At last, I would like to show you the RSSI graphs. This view simply records all received RSSI values and displays them in a graph. On the left, one can select which devices should be highlighted. And then we can scroll through the time. As of today, the code is available on GitHub and also the framework that supports this application is available on GitHub. We plan to release it in the App Store soon, but we are currently waiting for approval to the Apple University program. Thank you for watching.